So this is with a great pleasure for me to present the Algerian paper of the year award 2017 in life sciences. This initiative, which I fully support, is being brought by the Algerian network for academic scientists and researchers. I think the team behind this initiative is doing an excellent job for science in Algeria by the Algerian. So this is something that we should acknowledge and congratulate. Nice job. So the paper which I've been asked to um, uh, present today that will receive the award is um, entitled Association between the MDR1 gene polymorphism and the risk of Crohn's disease in a cohort of Algerian pediatric patients. So this paper has been published at least in, in press, in a journal called Pediatric Research. Uh, this work has been done by a team of basic scientists and clinicians, which is one of the main uh, strengths of this paper by promoting what we call translational research, which is the best way to carry out um, uh, uh, clinical research with potentially bigger impact to patients. So the first author of the paper is Amira Bouzidi. Congratulations to you. The last um, uh, author of the paper is Professor Twil Bukufa. However, the corresponding author is Professor uh, Hamida Masbah Hamoun. Congratulations to the team. I want to emphasize and, uh, um, and mention that uh, the team has also a different uh, clinical colleague that should also be congratulating for their insight and the importance in the study. So let's talk about uh, why the study is important and talk about the context. So the study is interested in MDR1. And MDR1 is, the reason why MDR1 is important, at least clinically, is that in the gut, it plays an important protective role. It acts uh, against endotoxin, uh, toxin, whether they're endogenous or exogenous. It also have antioxidant effect, including in the lungs. So this is a very important uh, protective role. And however, this MDR1 has been also associated with um, um, disease associated with the gut. If you look at mice that do not have the MDR1 gene, you can see that they develop uh, chronic colitis, a feature that is present in IBDs, in inflammatory bowel disease, such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. So therefore, MDR, MDR1 is potentially a, a big player in, 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 in the disease. However, the mechanism be linking the two is still unclear. So there's still a need for better understanding of how the MDR1 play a role in the pathogenesis of inflammatory bowel disease. So let's talk about what is being done in the field, at least clinically, not experimentally, to link MDR1 and the development of IBD. And this um, has been... Uh, uh, through genetic studies, trying to look at uh, genetic uh, changes or SNP single nucleotide uh, polymorphisms uh, uh, that were associated with the development of IBD. And uh, there's a number of studies that have actually tried to identify several SNPs as the, at the MDR1 gene and show their association with um, IBDs. However, uh, the overall conclusion is still um, uh, inconsistent uh, with the recent uh, meta-analysis studies showing conflicting uh, results. And, and, and so therefore there's still a need to better understand which SNPs is associated with IBD susceptibility. The reason may be multiple, there's at least 50 different SNPs uh, in the MDR1 gene, uh, IBD is present under different uh, clinical uh, manifestation, ulcerative colitis and, and chronic uh, Crohn's disease. And uh, studies have shown that different SNPs play different role in these different clinical uh, phenotypes. And finally, the, the, the study using a different pay involving different patients from different countries uh, have been used. Therefore, there's genetic uh, variation. There's also the environmental uh, variation. So all these different factors may have affected the implication of MDR1 uh, gene polymorphisms to the disease. Nonetheless, there's still study needs to be done, especially in Algeria, where uh, Crohn's disease is also an important uh, uh, cause for mortality and morbidity. So let's talk about what is being uh, uh, done 
uh, by Bouzidi and how the study has bring to the table and has brought to the table and, and what is the originality. So um, uh, this is, I would say, the first study actually to have looked at the impact of SNPs in the MDR1 gene in a cohort of pediatric patients. And the average age in this patient was around 10. They had also control subject around 100, which mean the mean age of 23. These patients were recruited, of course, on the consent with the ethical approval uh, 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 from different uh, pediatric departments for with the uh, involvement of uh, a clinician. And you can see here the importance of having uh, clinical uh, colleagues in being involved in the study. So the methodology of identifying the SNPs is, is well established, is solid, the patients are well characterized, and the, the conclusion overall of the study is, is supported by the data. So what are the main message uh, that the study uh, put forward? They were able to identify two SNPs in the MDR1 gene. I will refer them as the names C12360 and G267780 that were found to be associated with the susceptibility of Crohn's disease in this um, pediatric population. More importantly, they were also able to identify one particular uh, gene variant that were associated with incre increased risk of surgery. So this is another important finding because we are now working, trying to understand the different genetic marker that could actually predict patient uh, 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 either response to treatment or in this particular case uh, uh, undergoing a surgery. So this is a very, very important uh, way forward uh, uh, in this age of uh, individualized medicine. So this originality of the finding has been well discussed in the, in the light of the current knowledge. They were able also to confirm on one particular SNP was not involved in, with the increased susceptibility of Crohn's disease. And if this study were to be able, were able to be confirmed in a larger cohort of patients, then I think uh, the, uh, the author would probably feel more confident about uh, um, the validity of their finding. So this is extremely important because we're looking at uh, pediatric patients, so we're looking at the early onset of the disease. So any uh, major advances in this particular field could have a greater impact in the future management of the disease. So the um, uh, uh, study, of course, acknowledges the limitation, which is the small size, uh, the small number of patients, and therefore, uh, uh, if this study were to be replicated in a larger cohort of patients, uh, there's no doubt that this could have some scientific and clinical implication with regard to the role of MDR1 uh, gene into uh, the pathogenesis of the disease. So again, I congratulate the team for this uh, nice study. Congratulate the team for this very nice collaborative work and uh, wish them the best.